So imagine you have developed your process in UiPath Studio, you have published it to Orchestrator, and then you have launched the job for the first time in production. Wouldn't it be nice if we can actually see the execution of the robot in production without having to open the machine? Well, now this is possible with live streaming, and it's actually can be a life-saving feature if you want to do maintenance without having to open virtual machines and act on them physically. Let's jump right in and see how we can use live streaming and remote control in UiPath Orchestrator. All right, so before launching the process in UiPath Orchestrator, we need some prerequisites that we have to make sure they are present inside of the machine where we're gonna launch the process. So either it's a, a virtual machine or a physical machine, just make sure that these configurations are going to be present inside of it. So here we're gonna go to here and we have to make sure that the UiPath Assistant version is the right version. We're gonna open UiPath Assistant. We're gonna click on the initials here with the account. We are going to click on preferences and Inside preferences, we're gonna go to help. And then from here, we are going to make sure that the version of UiPath Assistant is 2023.4 plus. So here we have 2023.4.1. We are good to go. We have the right version. For previous versions, it's not gonna work. The second thing we need to do is going to be opening a browser and looking for a a software called tight vns or sorry tight vnc and then we are gonna click on download tight vnc and here we're gonna click on installer for windows it's going to install it and then we're gonna just click on open file and here we're gonna start the installation so we're gonna click on next i accept the agreements we're gonna click on next and then we're gonna click on custom next and here this is the most important thing we have to uncheck this register uh, register tight VN, vnc server as a system uh, service so we have to uncheck this uh, this option here just to make sure it's going to work uh, so let's click on next and click on install let's click on yes so it has finished installing now Let's jump to UiPath Studio and publish uh, a random process just to make sure it's gonna it's gonna work. Let's create a new process. Let's call it count to ten. We just wanna create a, a dummy process just to see if it's gonna work. Count to ten. Yeah. Here we're gonna click on open main workflow and let's drag up for each activity we want to count to 10 so we are going to use the enumerable that uh, range we are going to start from one and we are going to go 10 times so and here we are going to have a message box. And we basically gonna show the current item that to string. And we are going to show it automatically close after let's say 30 seconds. So this is just a simple process that we are going to launch in, in, launch in production. So we can actually see it working once we want to live stream the, the, the process. I will click on publish. I will keep the package name as it is. And I will choose the orchestrator personal workspace feed. So we're going to keep it uh, as the personal workspace feed. And then I would click on publish. So the, the package has just been published. And if I go to cloud.uipad.com, I will click on the orchestrator. And then if I go to my workspace automation, I will find it inside of my, uh, of my personal workspace. So this is the process. And what we want to do now is go to the three dots, more actions, click on edit go to additional settings and here we are going to 
uh, activate the allow live streaming and then we're going to enable remote control if we want to have both if you just want to have the allow uh, live streaming you can just keep this disabled but in this case we are going to have both so let's click on update and now we are going to launch the process i would suppose that you already have your machine licensed connected uh, you have all the settings right if you want to know how to set up an unattended machine on your uh, orchestrator just you can tell me to have a video dedicated for that but for this tutorial i will just consider that you already have that set up so here we're going to keep this as production i'm going to choose the machine on which i'm going to launch the process uh, it's going to be this exact session inside of my machine and i would click on start so as you can see the process is running and if i click on and if I click on more actions, open live stream, it will connect me to my uh, other session, my other PC that I have right here in front of me. It's a, it's a different PC and it's actually uh, going to show me the process working in production. If it was like a complex process, I will just see it working on production. So here I can just uh, take a remote control and I can just click on OK instead of waiting for it for 30 seconds. I can just click on OK in here. And whenever I just don't want any control, I will just exit remote control and it will basically, the process will basically just continue working without my intervention. So uh, the best thing about this feature is that you don't have to have control over your machine. Sometimes when you have some uh, processes that are working in production and you open, for example, the virtual machine because the process is stuck, this opening of virtual machine is going to either disconnect your robot or is going to cause some problems with the user interface. And that's actually very bad for your process, especially if your process is going to be running for hours. You don't want to disrupt it and relaunch it and reconfigure it. So I can see why this feature has been waited for so long. So either maintaining side, it's so good but also on just uh, monitoring side. Sometimes you want to make sure that your processes are working as intended. So, and it's a really nice to have feature in UiPath. And one last thing before I end this tutorial, I will just close this window in here. If we want to make sure that our background stays the same and not change into a black background, we have to do a specific uh, configuration. So here we're going to search for run site vnc server let's click on it i already have it running so we're gonna go to the tray in here and then we are going to right click on a uh, tight vnc server we are going to click on configuration and here we are going to uncheck the hide desktop wallpaper this is just to keep your wallpaper present because if you don't do this once your orchestrator will connect to your machine it will just change the, the, the background to black and it will stay like this after you close your machine. If you want your background to stay the same, you have to uncheck this option and click on apply and OK. And next time it will connect, it will just keep your background as it is. So yeah, that was it for me, guys. Thank you guys for watching and catch you guys on next time. Peace.